Welcome. During today's demo, we will review how DealRoom can help improve your M&A process. Our goal at DealRoom is to improve M&A with our diligence management software, which creates a more collaborative, people-focused workflow. At DealRoom, we designed our software to combat common industry challenges, such as cumbersome coordination between parties, functional leaders working in silos, integration planning happening too late in the process, information chasms between diligence and integration causing duplicate work, keeping teams focused on the highest priority tasks, unnecessary delays caused by batching tasks, disorganized information created by using multiple tools, not being able to quickly respond to changes when new dependencies are discovered. We will cover how DealRoom's capabilities address these issues and close deals faster. In this demo, I will go over a multi-party setup to manage your deal from diligence through integration, how DealRoom uses a backlog approach to enable organized priorities and reduces delays caused by batching, as well as gives teams the ability to plan integration in parallel with diligence. DealRoom's dashboard allows you to centralize your M&A process so everything related to your deals can be found in one spot. This greatly improves collaboration and organization Organize your projects by stages and add custom information to clearly communicate key facts such as contacts and upcoming dates, making priorities clearly visible. Also within the dashboard, users are able to easily create new rooms using pre-existing templates. The dashboard is intuitive to navigate and customizable. Once a project takes off, you can head over to the Request tab to begin creating tasks. The Request section allows you to store your data requests in one centralized location, eliminating the need for an Excel spreadsheet and one-off emails. You simply import a list of requests for the management team here. If you're unsure about the correct format, simply select Download Template or reach out to your customer success manager who can assist you. Now, users can quickly upload files and respond to requests by using drag and drop. So in this example, I'm going to drop a file into the deeds request and the system's already picking up which folder that file needs to go to. And when I upload the document, it's automatically placed in the correct folder in the data room and mapped directly to this request. Any files attached will automatically be added to the correct folder in the documents tab. When index numbers change or files are reorganized, the file links will automatically update. We often hear from clients that the request section reduces the time it takes to gather diligence information by half. After the initial document collection is complete, you can create new request lists to stay on track. Cross-functional teams can access each list, allowing for increased collaboration. When you open a request, you'll find typical project management features. Statuses can be customized to accommodate for your workflow. Labels can be created to tag items such as information commonly used for integration. You can assign roles to each request, such as assignee, reviews, followers, along with due dates. If someone does not complete a request by the due date given, you can send them a push notification reminder. You can also add comments to requests and control if commentary is open or only visible to internal groups. Another time-saving aspect of DealRoom is the recall feature. The recall feature uses machine learning to suggest relevant files and documents based on title and copy. When priorities shift, you can either drag and drop requests to reflect the order of priority or simply set the priority state to medium or high. Organizing lists in order of priority keeps your organization and individuals focused on the highest priority tasks throughout the deal lifecycle. Iterative updating also improves unnecessary delays caused by batching on Excel. This visual allows you to access your progress or view it as a timeline. And I can easily filter these different tasks by, by their list and status and be able to kick it out in a report as well. In the timeline view, I can easily see tasks and their dependencies, as well as tasks that may have surpassed their due dates. The next tab is the documents section. Any files attached to requests will also live here. Users can also filter by date of the uploaded files so that nothing's missed. A unique feature that I like to point out is the ability to create new requests and comments while viewing a document. So in this example, as I come across a potential finding, I can create a new request, log in the appropriate category, document my notes, and the system will automatically add a link directly to the page I was looking at, while I can add additional people from my team to review my notes. And when I save this request, they'll also get an email notification with the link directly to the request. And the benefit of this is this actually helps encourage collaboration across functions where team members may not work typically with each other day to day, but now I can see all the threads that are linked directly to this document 
And instead of creating a new thread independently, I can always review the existing threads and contribute and be able to work with team members directly on the existing comment thread. And in the system too, we have deep integrations with requests and documents so that anytime you come across a document, you always have access to be able to look at the requests without having to jump over any tabs. It's creating more of a uniform experience. So that way there's less jumping between programs or even within a program on different tabs. And if you do jump different tabs, your places will be saved. Next is the group tab. This section allows you to add groups and members. In this tab, you can easily set permissions for different groups, such as third parties, internal and external teams. Simply highlight the group on the left and then select file permissions. The four icons in the center directly correlate with the four icons next to each folder on the right side. You can change the level of permissions by clicking on the icons and hitting save. And if I need to get granular and make exceptions for specific files, I can do that as well. The permission options are view as watermark, download and print as a watermark, view, download and print original on marked files, or you can give the user full file and folder editing capabilities. This is where you can control and adjust the lists each group can access. You can also quickly copy groups. Adding new members is simple since you can copy and paste in a batch. Analytics is the next tab. Dealroom's analytic capabilities gives transparency to a deal by tracking progress and monitoring activities. The request overview section, Dealroom provides a detailed account of our overall request activity and can be filtered by date, groups, lists, priorities, and status. The request progress section gives you a burndown chart of your different lists so you can see the progress being made on those, as well as an active view of where people are spending the most time on specific requests. So you can be aware of any potential bottlenecks or blind spots in your progress. Request activity gives you multiple views into where people are spending time and diligence. For example, if you notice a party spending 80% of their time on three specific legal issues, you can prepare your team to answer questions around them. This data can also be used to identify potential blind spots or bottlenecks in your process. Timeline views are accessible on groups and individual users. Traditional data room analytics are built in as well. A comprehensive audit trail allows you to track down any specific action that has happened in the room. All analytics can be exported into Excel or PDF. In the settings section, email notifications are set to user's preference. Notifications can be set to immediately, hourly, daily, or weekly. Two-factor authentication is available and can be adjusted to specific or all users. Watermarks can be customized as well as NDAs. Dealroom's platform also integrates with Slack to create a more collaborative M&A process. Dealroom can also enable integration with Salesforce should your process require it. I'm going to hop over to our pricing page to answer some common questions. All of our plans listed here are for unlimited rooms. If you're looking for a single project room or room with unlimited data, please reach out to us for a custom quote. Our standard and professional plans will charge a fee for additional admins. These users can create permission groups and new rooms. Ample amount of data is included with each plan, so you don't have to worry about per page billing for storage. Standard and professional plans are billed on a monthly basis with no long-term contractual agreements, while our company and enterprise plans are billed annually. With DealRoom, your team will be spending less time on tactical work and more on the high value activities that keep the deal moving forward. By eliminating Excel, teams can track progress on one centralized platform, resulting in a faster process. The ability to organize lists in order of priority will ensure your team is working on the highest priority tasks at all times. With improved collaboration, team members will be briefed on new information prior to meetings, enabling productive discussions. Deal Room will make your M&A approach more collaborative and people focused. We're here for you and happy to share additional ways to improve your M&A process. Connect with me at Kisan at dealroom.net. Thank you for your time.